and we are good. Okay, the first fifth quarter podcast, episode one. A lot of news going on in the NFL world, um, as we will be just going over NFL. Um, no NBA or NHL today uh, because of everything that's going on with free agency trades um, and everything, all the news uh, that's going on. The four topics we will be discussing today are Russell Wilson traded to the Broncos, Bobby Wagner cut to the Seahawks, Carson Wentz recently traded, um, Rodgers and Adam both coming back to Green Bay, and uh, just some a few free agency previews um, that we got in store today. So we got the guest, Josh, um, and he will be a part of this. We may be bringing on a few other guests that we know, um, but let's get right into this. Um, right. First up, we got Russell Wilson traded, and Russell Wilson was traded to the Denver Broncos after – a phenomenal decade of football with the Seattle Seahawks, obviously. Uh, he was traded for, uh, he was just him straight up, he was traded for Shelby Harris, um, Drew Locke, and uh, Noah Fan, as well as a few first-round picks. And the Seahawks do now own the ninth pick in the draft. Um, so what do, you, what do you think about that? I just like, I feel like the Broncos gave up a little bit too much. I mean, three great players, minus Drew Locke, and then like their first round. I mean, I understand they want to. They're in a win now phase, but I don't know. It feels like they gave up a lot. But on the other hand, it will help them win because Drew Locke's situation was not good, and the quarterbacks in this draft are looking a little bit shaky. So I can understand why they would make that move. Yeah, like I mean, I, I like Russell Wilson. I think Russell Wilson's a phenomenal quarterback when he's healthy, of course. But yeah, the thing about Russell Wilson record. is that he's just been. He, he, he's definitely – his best years are behind. I don't think Russell Wilson's going to have another season like he did in 2020 or 2019. Oh, yeah. Uh, but so. This season, obviously, he just wasn't the greatest. Um, yeah. He struggled uh, when he was healthy. He was injured a lot. Uh, but he just really didn't have a connection. His arm definitely looked a little bit smaller. Um, and his mobility is still great, but then again, he has that injury problem. Um, and now you're trading Russell Wilson, who's still a phenomenal, probably still top 10. Yeah. Uh, but you're trading him for a guy a lot. It's a lot. Maybe just if you just do Drew Locke in those picks. But you're adding in a young, great tight end. And then you're also adding in a solid uh, Shelby Harris. I think, that, I think the Seahawks won this trade a little bit. But then again, they are losing Russell. What do you think? I just – I mean – Russell Wilson's going to be under a lot of pressure because Denver does not have a great O-line, especially giving up Shelby Harris does not help. So I think he'll be under pressure a lot, but he still knows how to escape the pocket. And he deals with the same situation in Seattle. I just I don't see them making a deep playoff run, you know, with the Raiders, Chargers, and Chiefs in their division. I don't know. I just don't see it. But on the, I do agree with you. I think the Seahawks won the trade, but then again, they did move Russell, so that was not good for them. But the Broncos, yeah. they're looking to win right now. So let's see what happens next few seasons. Yeah, because I think I mean, the thing about Russell Wilson is he wanted to be loyal to the Seahawks. He, he did not want to leave the Seahawks. He wasn't in a desperate need to leave. And he really wasn't in a situation like Aaron Rodgers was or maybe Deshaun Watson. But then again, was Russell Wilson really going to win? Was he going to have success with that Seahawks team? Like a massive downcline of their defense – since the Legion of Boom, the O line's been atrocious for the past three or five, three, two to three years. Um, and DK, other than DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, there's nothing to their offense. So I like Russell Wilson. I think he's going to do well in Denver. I think he's going to have a good season, but it's going to be really tough to beat the Chiefs. Um, and don't count out the Chargers or the Raiders. Yeah, exactly. So we also got Bobby Wagner also cut from the Seahawks. What do you think about that? Man, I just, I don't, I understand that he's getting really old. He's way out of his prime. They don't need to pay him the money that he wants, so I totally understand them doing it. I don't know who's going to pick him up. I mean, like, he if he wants to take a lower offer deal, I could see him getting picked up. But if he asks for too much, I don't think he's going to. But I think eventually he'll ask for a lower deal and get picked up as like a, you know, halfway, like first and second down fighter. 
but he might, I don't know. Depends on your thing. I mean, Bobby Wagner, I think Bobby Wagner still has amazing football left in him. Like, he, he definitely wasn't as looked at a lot this season because of how great T.J. Watt and Miles Garrett were. And a lot of times, middle linebackers like that, they just don't get recognition. But I think the thing is, Bobby Wagner, I think he's a great, awesome player. But I think now that we've seen Bobby Wagner getting cut, the Seahawks definitely are tearing down their team. What, what stands for Jamal Adams? Like Jamal Adams, highest paid safety in the league, coming off of a very down year on a team that's trying to retool. So what's going on with Jamal Adams? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's just, ever since leaving the Jets, he's just really gone downhill. You know, injured, not this season, but last season, most of the season. Like, what do you play, like six, seven games? He played mediocre. And since that, this year, he just he hasn't really done much. You know, you know, he was like, he had the most sacks among safeties, and he, what did he get, like, one this year? He had a really down year. He barely, did he even get an interception? Did he get one? I don't even think he did. He had a really down year. So, I don't know yeah. what the Seahawks team is looking like. I mean, they're definitely probably going to be in a rebuild with DK leaving the way. I think, honestly, with the Seahawks team, there's no reason why DK Metcalf stays. Because we know, we know DK Metcalf's going to be upset. We know DK Metcalf's going to have a very, very hard time playing with Drew Locke. So yeah. unless they go out and maybe make a move for Malik Willis, or they maybe take a shot at Matt Corral, this, this Seahawks team is going to have a hard time with their chemistry at Drew Locke. Yeah, once his contract's over, he's probably out of there. How much, how, do you know how many years he has left on his contract? Drew Locke? No, 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 DK. Oh, DK Metcalf. I think DK Metcalf has, he, 2019, so I think he has one last, he's, next season is his, uh, yeah, I think he'll be gone. Or two next years. Next season, off season, I think he'll be gone. I don't know where he'll go, but I don't think he's staying. Unless this Pete Carroll just pulls something amazing off and they somehow get like a seventh to sixth season, but have like an Eagles type season, but I don't think that's happening. Yeah, same thing with the Jamal Adams situation. It, or uh, P. Carroll. Is P. Carroll really the future of that team? Like, P. Carroll coming off of a, a pretty bad season. And if they're t- retooling their team, they may be retooling their coaching staff. So, P. Carroll could be on the hot seat. Um, but if they're, I think if they're able to have a solid season with the team they have, I think it's definitely considerable that P. Carroll is a long term guy. Yeah. But he's definitely on the hot seat. I mean, he's the oldest coach in the NFL. You never know. He might just want to quit. But. I don't think Pete Carroll. He's a really competitive guy. So, on it, if it just depends on how that they play. You know, the general managers they always blame the coach. So if he has two down here, they're gonna they're gonna get him out of there. But Pete, you know, brings along a few decent seasons. They go by people. Yeah. Um. So moving on, Carson Wentz is now a Washington Commander, the new starting quarterback. What do you think about that? And I just. You know, just hearing this today because it just happened. I, I thought that was insane. Like, I just, wow. I mean, I think the Colts won that trade because you saw what he did against Jacksonville last year. I mean, this year, like, in the last game. Because they would have gone to the playoffs if they won that game. The way he performed was just terrible. So, I think they won that trade. They need to get a young quarterback with a lot of upside. And I think they could get that. Definitely go to the playoffs with a young wide receiving core. Of course, Jonathan Taylor, that monster O line, and great defense. So, if they could get a young stud quarterback who grows for the next three, four years, I think for sure they'll be a playoff team. Now, for Washington, I don't understand the trade. I mean, I get there's no good quarterbacks this year, but I just don't see Carson Wentz being a good option. Giving up all the all those picks was just I I don't know what they were thinking, but we'll see. What do you think? I think this is very, very similar. Other than the fact that he played for the Jets, and it's a completely different situation when you're on the Jets, I think this is similar to the Sam Darnold trade because I think it's a team like the Commanders who are desperate in this low QB market. And as much as I think Wentz has an upside, like Carson Wentz only seven interceptions last year, and his main flaw was definitely his decision-making. He definitely looked good, and I think if you give him a number one receiver, a real number one receiver, he could probably put up 30, 35 touchdowns. But I think Carson Wentz, the, the Washington, they're not getting much out of Carson Wentz. And I don't think Carson Wentz is much of an upgrade over Taylor Heineke. 
I like what Taylor Heineke did. He was a great quarterback. Um, he, was a, he was a good scrambler, he was a good improviser, but based off of what he came from, he was a great quarterback. Now, I don't think he's a long-term option, but I think for the Colts, they don't have a quarterback right now. I don't know where they will go with quarterback, whether they want to go um, in the draft or they want to look at um, possibly a, maybe Deshaun Watson, but that would never happen. Uh, but it, it's really a toss-up for the like Colts. I think the Colts won the trade because they got some picks, but we'll see. This is something they could do. They could sign Mitchell Trubisky and like draft a quarterback in later rounds because the Bills are saying Mitchell Mitchell is not going to be on the team because he believes he can have a starting job somewhere. So I don't. I honestly don't think they'll sign Mitchell Trubisky, but you, know, you never know. But Mitchell Trubisky is an awesome. Draft. Yeah, like Mitchell Trubisky, he's, he's sick. I think people people like he, people get mad at him, and people Bears fans are toxic about Mitchell Trubisky. But yeah. if you look at look at this, I mean, I know a lot of people are just looking at preseason, which is tough. But I'm not even looking at the Bills preseason game, which everyone's looking at. I'm looking at what he did in 2018. Like as much as good as the Bears defense was, as good as Alshon Jeff or not Alshon Jeffrey, uh, Allen Robinson was, and as good as their team was. They still had Matt Nagy as their head coach. They didn't yeah. have a good real O line. They didn't have that great weapons around him. And this Mitchell Trubisky guy is getting trash because he was a second pick to Holmes. Was Mahomes really going to be that good in that, uh, Chicago? Was Deshaun Watson really going to be that good in Chicago? No. I think Mitchell Trubisky is a great quarterback, um, and I think he could really succeed in that Frank Reich offense uh, with Michael Pittman and Jonathan Taylor. And I think the Colts would be in a better situation. You never know. They could do it. Yeah. So, next we got uh, Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is back. And so is Devontae Adams. Yep. What do you think? I was surprised. I honestly thought Devontae and Adams were going to go somewhere else. But I'm not that surprised. But, you know, I was hoping they was going to go somewhere else. But, you know, last year they both at the same time posted on Facebook the last, like, the picture of the last dance. So I was like, oh, this is going to be the last season. But I guess I would. I mean, the money that Rodgers is getting paid is crazy. I mean, I get get a two-time back-to-back MVP, but, you know, $20 million a year for four years. $50 million. Uh, 50, million. 50 Wow. Wow, that, that kind yeah, of expresses it. Four, 50 million? Four years, 200 million. Bro, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I think I think Rogers deserves to be the highest paid TV in the NFL. I will say that I'm not saying 50 million, but he definitely deserves. Okay. Yeah, but like I was saying, I think Aaron Rodgers looking at the years. I think Aaron Rodgers deserves the money he got, and definitely was. He wasn't. Aaron Rodgers wasn't that great this season. Like he yeah, was, yeah. he was better than the average quarterback, but he definitely was over. He wasn't as good yeah. as his MVP season. But Aaron Rodgers, I think Aaron Rodgers, talent wise, is better than Mahomes. Now, talent wise, I think Josh Allen is probably the best. Maybe Justin Herbert or Joe Burrow, but Aaron Rodgers probably deserves to be the highest paid. I just think fifty million for an NFL player is absurd. Um, I think. You give Aaron Rodgers like a three-year, hundred million dollar deal, and that would suit what he deserves. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think fifty million is absurd, especially with the QB. That I'm not saying he don't don't get crazy at me in the comments or anything, but I'm not saying that Aaron Rodgers is on a is he's not playing well. He's not good anymore. I'm saying he's in a downward incline. He's not going to win an MVP again. He's not going to win a Super Bowl. And I think Aaron Rodgers isn't gonna isn't worth it's not, it, it isn't worth that he's making fifty million in twenty twenty four. That's just totally ridiculous. Agree. I mean, exactly. Aaron Rodgers, yeah, okay. he's not gonna have an end like Big Ben. He's not gonna have an end like Drew Brees. He's gonna have an end similar to Brady, however he won't win the win the ring. Uh, but I, I I I knew this was happening. I knew Aaron Rodgers was like I, Aaron Rodgers just wasn't leaving. Like he's just the guy who stirs up the pot. He makes everyone think that he's leaving, and then he doesn't leave. He did that last season. He did it again this season. I I knew this was happening. For Adams, I, I did not expect it for Devontae Adams. Mm-hmm. I thought he was going to go to 49ers or something. Especially, like, 
paying them that much, they have a lot of free agencies here. They're going to realize, oh, we paid him way too much because there's so many positions like that people don't think is important right now that they like could sign back that when they lose them, they're going to have a down on you. I'm not saying they're not making the playoffs. They have a terrible division. They're going to definitely make the playoffs. I just, they're not going to win the Super Bowl. They're just not. They just, Rodgers just can't win under pressure. I don't know. Especially not against 49ers. 0 for 4. It's tough. Yeah. I think Adams, I, I really thought he was going to the Raiders. And I was really hoping. But I kind of forgot about this whole franchise tag thing. Like, if you think about it, Adams, if they didn't use the franchise tag on Adams, Adams is sleeping. There's no shot Adams is staying in Green Bay to lose again in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because Adams was definitely, unless he got paid like $25 million to yeah. a year. But he wasn't going to get that. And if it weren't for the franchise tag, Adams would be in one of the California. Yeah. Kind of disappointed because if you think about it, if you put Devontae Adams on that Raiders offense with Hunter Renfro and Derek Carr, that would be insane. I would love yeah, to see that. that. Even the Chargers yeah. offense, Justin Herbert, even, maybe even the uh, 49ers offense with Hugo Samuel, that would be phenomenal. Um, and that would really shake up the league. Um, but Devontae Adams is on the tag. Uh, where do the Packers sit now with their other free agents? Yeah. I just. How many of them are they going to be able to pay? You know? Like, they spent so much money on Aaron and Devontae. I mean, I understand why. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying, like, I don't, how are they going to – they're not going to be able to pay them all. So, so, so many of their role players that they don't understand how important they are going to leave. And I just – I don't see them being number one in the conference. I just don't see it happening. There's, I just – I mean, I don't – I don't know if they can compete with the Rams – you know, I think they're winning the conference. I think there's no doubt about really? that, especially with really? Russell Wilson know, gone man. and Tom Brady gone. Like, I don't know. I think like the only team competing with them is the Rams. And unless the Rams are able to retain their whole team, it, which I think could happen, but I, I think the Packers are still winning the conference. Like, yeah. they had they had their pretty much basically their whole team back. They got a good draft pick, mm-hmm. unless the Rams make a big move. Or something. I think, I think the Packers got it. With what? <laughs> With what? With what? Oh, yeah, yeah. But or, unless, or they, they, unless they, like, somehow retain Vaughn and Vaughn yeah. Miller and um, Odell Beckham, I think the Packers are getting it. But even if they do, I, think, I still think the Packers are the best team in the conference. They're having Zedarius Smith come back. Rashawn Gary had a phenomenal season. Jair Alexander's coming back. Um, we still know what guys like Kenny Clark and Adrian Amos and uh, Darnell Savage can all do. Uh, and uh, I really like A.J. Dillon. I really I really do like A.J. Dillon, what he did this season. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is for D- Aaron Rodgers. Like, I love this for Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. He went out, he finessed the whole Packers organization because if he, if it weren't for him stirring up the part, pot and saying, I'm not, I'm going to leave if you don't pay me. Aaron Rodgers went from probably getting $25 million, $30 million, maybe $35 million from, like, from them or from a Raiders team. He got $50 million for four years. He's getting paid a ton of money, and he just completely finessed the Packers just so he can play a few more seasons. He really did. It, was hurt, it may cost him a ring, but, I mean, $200 million is $200 million. I'm just curious. This is not a thing, but what do you think is going to happen to Jimmy G? Like, I want your opinion. What do you think is going to happen? Jimmy Garoppolo? Mm-hmm. Jimmy Garoppolo, I think Jim, I like I like Jimmy Garoppolo. Mm-hmm. And with Aaron Rodgers gone, oh. and – or not gone. Eh, with Aaron Rodgers, like, gone from the free agency talk, like, he's back. Mm-hmm. Russell Wilson's back. Deshaun Watson's still, I don't think Deshaun Watson's going to come back. I think – maybe, but – I think Jimmy G's going to the Steelers. That oh, here, you know, Carson that. Wentz was going to go to the Steelers. But Jimmy Garoppolo deserves a job. Like Jimmy Garoppolo yeah, led his 49ers team. Now, yes, they had that defense, but the defense wasn't their team. It wasn't the main yeah. part. Like That yeah. Super Bowl season was the defense. The defense was the main cause for that. But if you think about it, this Jimmy Garoppolo was great. He's a great – he's a yeah. winner. He's a leader, and he can definitely win you games. He doesn't. Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't lose you games. So I, I think Jimmy Garoppolo deserves a shot. I think he deserves the same 
San Francisco. I don't know why they're rushing Trey Lance in. Trey Lance can exactly. stay in develop when Jimmy G goes down. When Jimmy G starts regressing, throw Trey, throw Trey in. But right now, keep Jimmy G or send him to Pittsburgh. Here's this thing, because Kyle Shanahan, he's, I saw this graphic the other day. With Jimmy G, he's lost like, I don't know, it was like five or six games. And then without him, he's lost like 20 or 25. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Like, yeah, Kyle him, Shanahan just saved him. Like, Jimmy Garoppolo brought them to a Super Bowl, brought them to an NFC Championship, 4-0 against Aaron Rodgers. Like, he has he, – he played under Brady, and he's proven that he's good. I would love – if we, if we didn't get Matt Jones, like, at the – at this time, at this time last year, it was um, Cam Newton. Is he coming back? What's the deal with Cam Newton for the Patriots? And maybe maybe we were going to go out and get Deshaun Watson. Maybe we were going to do something like that. But I thought it was Jimmy G. I thought we were going to go pursue Jimmy G because Bill, we knew Bill Belichick left Jimmy G. Bill Belichick almost sacrificed Brady for Jimmy Garoppolo. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, li- I like Jimmy Garoppolo. If it weren't for – if Mac Jones, we didn't bring in Mac Jones, I would have loved Jimmy Garoppolo for us. Yeah. Okay, so – I think we can move on to the next segment. We got free agency discussions. We got first, Devontae Adams is off the board. So mm-hmm. I think number two, Chris Godwin's also off the board. Chris Godwin got tagged by the board. What do you think about that? I mean, I mean, I kind of, I honestly thought he was going to leave. I'm not going to lie. I, with Brady gone, yeah. I thought he was going to leave. But I guess I was wrong. But they did tag him, so he can't yeah. say no to that, obviously. I mean, I I understand. Yeah, I think the Bucks. I yeah, I don't think the Bucks should have did that because the Bucks. I think the Bucks kind of got to retool their team. But maybe if they keep in Godwin, that could suspect us to say that they're bringing in Garoppolo or they're bringing in um, mm-hmm. uh, Deshaun Watson because, yeah. like, if you look at this team, Brady's gone. Ali Marpet retired at twenty eight. Jensen's a free agent. Shaq Barrett's a free agent. JPP's a free agent. Carlton Davis is a free agent. They're hoping, like, this Bucks team is probably still going to win their division, honestly. But it's yeah. going to be an 8 and 9 and 8 or 10 and 7. Yeah. Um, and I think for Godwin, it's not the best situation. If I were Chris Godwin, I would be a little bit upset. I'm getting paid, but still, I'm going to have to deal with Kyle Trask or Sam Howell or someone like that. Yeah. So, so with Godwin gone, I think the number one who – who's your number one free agent right now? I mean – Allen Robinson's up there, but he's just so, like, who knows? Like, he had a great career, and this year was just terrible. You could, a lot of people blame the quarterback situation, but Darnell Manning had a good year. That was decent. So, I don't know. He's, like, up and down. What do you think? Like, what do you think is your number one? I'm just curious. My number one is between Odell and J.C. Jackson. Like, no doubt about that. Uh, So, I think we should talk about J.C. Jackson first. Yeah, what do you think about J.C.? I think he wants. I think he's gonna go to an NFC team. I think he, he's gonna go to like a warmer team. Maybe, maybe not. But like, I could see him going to like. <laughs> don't quote me on this. I could see him going to like the Cardinals or like a team that, or like the Vikings. Someone who needs cornerback help. But on the other hand, I could see him go like the Rams, just being like, you know what, screw it, Odell, bye, and we're gonna bring in like JC. So I, I don't think that's actually gonna happen, but. You never know with him. Yeah, I, I feel like he's either going to be picked up by like a super team like the Rams or Packers just because they let some other people go, or he'll get to the team that he's going to have, like the Cardinals or Vikings or something like that. Yeah, I, as a Patriots fan, like he just really hurts. Like that, that sucks. Bill Belichick had the desire to pay J.C. Jackson, who efficiency and stat wise meant be the best corner in the league. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll say Jalen Ramsey and AJ Terrell because their yards allowed. But then again, J.C. Jackson only allowed, what, 200 and 300 yards more while having, like, five or six more interceptions. Yeah. So I think if Bill Belichick is crazy, the madman for only paying this guy bench money. Um, because J.C. Jackson was a need. He was our secondary. Matt Judon was mm-hmm. the man of the fun seven. J.C. Jackson was the yeah. man in the secondary. And we saw Jalen Mills was horrible. J- Jonathan Jones, he's quick. He can – He's decent in main coverage, but Jonathan Jones, he's in Garden, Stephon yeah. Diggs, or Jalen Waddle, or anyone like that. And yeah. I, I do like Miles 
Bryant. And I think with pick t- number 21, the Patriots have to go corner. Like, it was maybe receiver, but now it's got to be cornerback because yeah. we don't have one. I would love to see Bill Belichick re-sign him in free agency. But then again, I think he's going to three, one of three teams. The Cardinals. I mean, the Cardinals need cornerback help. Um, yeah. They got the money yeah. to sign him. And fan, they could. 49ers. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could happen. I think the 49ers need help. Okay. And unless they want to pursue some, another position – of need, but I didn't think that could happen. And then the third team is the Eagles, just because Philadelphia mm-hmm. Eagles, it's like they're a sneaky team. Like we saw them last year, they weren't fun. they weren't bad, and their secondary their secondary need help. Like it just yeah. wasn't great. Big play Slay was great, uh, but their whole defense needed a little bit of help. Yeah. So I think one of those three teams, Jason Jackson, would be. Fun. But if I were happy to say it, I would say the San Francisco Forty Nine ers Yeah. I have a Patriots hot take. I think Chandler Jones is going back to the Patriots. This is this. All I'm going to say is, except, ex, I mean, your second leader in sacks, Kyle Van Noy, had five sacks. That's not except for Matthew Judon. You had no one else. So I honestly think yeah. you could have Matthew Judon on one Chase side Winovich. and Chandler on the other side. I could see him going. going yeah, back I think to Chase Winovich he was stupid. The Bill Belichick wasn't playing. We yeah. were playing like Josh Uche and Lawrence, but not Josh. Yeah. We're playing like Lawrence Guy and mm-hmm. Henry Anderson over up. But I, I think the next guy is Odell Beckham. What do you think about Odell? Odell. Honestly, I think he's staying in LA. I don't think he has a reason to leave. He already has a house there. All of his friends are there. He just run up one a ring, something he never did. You know, I just yeah. I honestly think he's gonna stay. What do you think? There's no reason for Odell Beckham to leave. Like That's what I said. Like no. Odell Beckham what other team would he go to? Like exactly, the team was maybe at Brady State, and he won mm-hmm. a revenge tour. Brady could have somehow pulled off Odell with all their cat issues. Maybe they could still find a way to sign Odell, yeah. but there's really no other team that stands out that could make a move on Odell. Like Patriots, people are saying Patriots. I don't see the Patriots. Like yeah. that, that's just not happening. No, he's Odell like Beckham wouldn't work goals. well with Mac Jones. Odell would get too mad when Mac Jones will on so well. Odell, he's living the life in LA, just won a ring, playing yeah. great with Stafford and Cup. Has mm-hmm. a good relationship with the team. Odell's staying in LA. There's no way. No, he's going um, to the Eagles. I'm just kidding. Yeah. There's so many Eagles fans. He's like, we're getting Odell. No. You know you're How about Von Miller? Von Miller. Okay, Von Miller. That that's so I've been thinking about this one today. That's a big question mark for me. If they're paying Odell I mean, I, I want to say he's going to stay, but are they going to have enough money? It, either they well, sign him they back. have the money if Odell or if either one of them takes a little bit of a pay cut. Yeah. I could see, I could see Vaughn. I could see Vaughn taking a pay cut just because he's older. You know, I think he wants to win again. Odell's just like a little bit too much like, pay me, I'm worth it. Either he yeah. takes a pay cut or they, you know, don't sign some other players. Or he goes somewhere else. Honestly, I don't. I think he's staying. I don't see him leaving in any scenario. Like Von Miller could definitely go to a team like um, the Ravens or someone mm-hmm. like that. He could go back to Denver. We see Denver mm-hmm. now has Russell Wilson, but I think Von Miller. The thing about him is he, he like you said, he's getting older, and I, I think he would be willing to take a pay cut because Aaron Donald said. He may not come back. I think Aaron Donald is mm-hmm. locked in. Uh, oh. But a few months ago, I think Aaron Von Miller, he's having fun as Aaron Donald. He just won a ring. There's no reason for a guy like Von yeah. Miller to leave. Maybe if he was like 28, there's yeah. a chance because he could get paid a lot more. But Von Miller is like 31, 32. So yeah, I think LA is a lot. Um, another guy, the, this really wasn't a free agent, but is, is Amari Cooper getting cut? Like, what's the deal with that? Oof. Honestly, all right. Where where do you think he could go if he did get cut? Let's start with that. I could see him going to. The I'm Patriots. gonna be a biased Patriots fan, and no, I think the Patriots. I, that's what I. Just I think Amari. I think Amari Cooper fits great in the Patriots mm-hmm. system. Like he could do what he did for Dak in his for Dak's first few years mm-hmm. to Mac Jones. I could also see him going to uh uh Miami Dolphins team to develop mm-hmm. Jalen Waddle. So yeah, I could. I'll say this though. Honestly, like that's where I think he could go, but I don't think he's leaving. You know, Michael Gallup's leaving, 
So I don't think he's going to let Cooper go because if Cooper goes, all they have is CD. That's it for wide receivers. So yeah. I don't think he'll let him go. But well, another but thing that know. could happen is if they cut Cooper, they and definitely could keep, they could keep Gallup and Schultz, mm-hmm. which could really yeah. piss me off. They would have to. Yeah. They would have to overpay. Gallup like dude, Dalton, I would rather Dalton Schultz isn't going to be Dalton Schultz. Michael Gallup just aren't going to do much for you in the long run. And yeah. Cooper had injuries, so why not keep him? But yeah, I think he's gonna get cut. So Patriots or Dolphins for me. I could see him going to Patriots, Dolphins, Eagles, or maybe even like a team like I don't know the Ravens. But I think the Ravens are too run based, so he wouldn't want to go there. So I was, I can also see see him going to like the Buccaneers, but nah, they already have Mike and God, but he's never go there. You know, probably just the Patriots, Eagles, and Dolphins. Yeah, that's an option. Uh, for sure, but uh, we also got a guy like Tyra Matthew. Who said he's gonna leave? Awesome. Honestly, Ravens. That is my number one thought. I think he's going to the Ravens. They Ravens, need Ravens help. or Commanders, or or Forty Niners. They really need safety help. Yeah. Or um, Commanders. Do, do we see Tar uh, or however you say his name drop their Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, Bro, but he he caught that ball. They go, they go to the Super Bowl. And, and yeah, but also Jalen Ramsey caught that interception and the Rams go to the Super Bowl, too. So. Yeah, you're right. So it kind of evens out. Yeah. So um, I think Tyron Matthew, he's, he's too, like, itchy for a new team. Like, mm-hmm. I think Tyron Matthew, Matthew, he's been on the Cardinals, been on the Texans, been on the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. I think Tyron Matthew going to the Ravens would be nice because then you have Marlon Humphrey, mm-hmm. you have Marcus Peters, and now you have – Tyron Matthew, that's the best secondary in the league right there. Yeah, yeah. But then you also got to take into consideration if Tyron Matthew doesn't win, is he going to lead again? Uh, I like the commanders, too. I think that young defense Mm -hmm. was potential. We saw how good it was when they made the playoffs two seasons ago. Um, It had a massive downfall, but Chase Young's going to return. And William Jackson really underperforming, uh, but Jimmy Davis is going to be back, so I think one of those teams definitely could be an option, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, and I think another one we could go over is a guy like uh, Ryan Jensen of Toronto Armstead. We'll do those too. Um, so how about Toronto Armstead, the Pro Bowl tackle for the Saints? I would love – I don't think it's going to happen, but I'd love to see him go to the Bengals. I mean, they need yes. a franchise tackle. I mean, you know – getting sacked nine times in the divisional, seven times in the Super Bowl. That just can't happen if the Bengals want to win. So I'd love to see him go to, like, the Bengals. I guess see him going to, like, because I think the Titans are going to lose their tackles. So I could see him going, like, to the Titans. Mostly the Bengals, though. Like, I really, really hope he goes to the Bengals. Cause they There's win. also the Jets. Like, the oh, Jets, yeah. Ooh, if, they yeah, want, if, they, if they want, or the Jets, if they need, mm-hmm. like, we saw Trevor Lawrence in – is that Wilson? They they struggle, and uh, like and you can't blame it everything on the O line. But I think Trevor Lawrence he got hit too much, and Trevor Lawrence yeah. needs that tackle. I, mean, I think maybe Trevor. late a year though. But if you want to sit with Cam Robinson uh, and put uh, Toronto said on the other side, but I like I love Toronto Armstead to the back. It's like I just love that whole back. You get a pro bowl, amazing All Pro tackle, protected a Super Bowl potential quarterback. And mm-hmm. I like Joe Burrow. I think he needs the O-line. And I think if you give him the O-line, he's going to be a Super Bowl. He's going to yeah, be a Super sure. Bowl contender once again. As for Ryan Jensen, same thing. Bengals, Jets, Jags, any any of those teams would definitely work. And I think the last one to wrap it up we could do is how about Jesse Bates? Jesse Bates. Didn't he just get franchise tag? He may have. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, he's uh, how about, yeah, how about um how about Alan Robinson? Great move by the Bengals, though. So. Alan yeah. Robinson. Oh boy. Eagles not sure. I can see him Patriots, Eagles, Dolphins. Um, I can see him going to I don't like I just think he's gonna go to a good team. I don't think he wants to be in a situation like with the Bears. I think he'd go to a good team like the like the Patriots. I'm gonna the Eagles would be like a long with you. Shot. I'm what? gonna be completely disagree with you. I think Alan yeah. Robinson just doesn't care anymore. 
he's not a really notable player to the point where it's like, oh, we're the Chiefs or the Cowboys or the Packers. We're going to go pick up Allen Robinson. I think Allen Robinson's going to go to the Lions for the money. Like, at this point, he's played on the three where he's been on the team that's been the three where he's been on the Jags. The Jags were horrible, and he's on the Bears when the Bears were horrible. I think Allen Robinson's just going to be in it for the money and the stats um, yeah. and the accolades because I think there's not, there's not really anything left in his career, really. Uh, the last season really ended it. So Allen Robinson to the Lions would, I think, benefit – Put him next to Amon Rock St. Brown. That'd be a good, decent offense. They need a receiver badly. But I don't really think the Lions are spending a, per, a first round pick on a guy um, of that, his caliber. So, uh, yeah, I think Lions would be a simple move. But I think that concludes, or have I yet? I think that concludes what we're going to be covering today as we went over Russell Wilson, and Bobby Wagner, Carson Wentz, Rodgers, and Adams. We looked at some free agency. We could have did the draft combine, but that was a few days back. So I think uh, we'll settle on the draft. We'll do some draft previews. Um, and we'll be maybe doing, for the viewers, we'll maybe be doing an episode uh, twice, once or twice, one to two times a week. Um, and if you keep, uh, if you enjoy these podcast videos, be sure to leave a like on the video. And this is the fifth quarter, fifth quarter podcast signing out. We'll see you guys next time.